Hey, I'm Bron Daler from Mastodon. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News report. Former Quiet Riot vocalist James Durbin has now released his new solo album and solo debut. It's called The Beast Awakens, and you can listen to the title track on YouTube now and a couple of the other songs. It's a great album, so check it out. It features Chris Jericho and Phil Demel on the album as well. And ZZ Top's Billy F. Gibbons has released a video for the song Rollin' and Tumblin' on YouTube, a track from his second solo album titled The Big Bad Blues. And you can watch that video now on YouTube. The order To order The Big Bad Blues, you can check out his website as well. Some of the songs are Missin' You Kissin', My Baby She Rocks, Second Line, Standing Around Crying, among others and Edenbridge have released their second best of album and it's also the band's 20th anniversary. It's the album's titled The Chronicles of Eden Part 2 and has music from albums 5 to 10 and again it was up to the fans to vote for their favorite tracks. They have now released an official video for the new version of Higher and you can check that out on YouTube. And Puzzle fans and Iron Maiden fans rejoice. Iron Maiden will release more titles for their Jigsaw puzzle line, and they are going to be out on April. Uh, in April. Z Productions will release The Trooper, No Prayer for the Dying, Fear of the Dark, The X Factor, Virtual uh, 11 or Virtual X1, and The Book of Souls as 500-piece Jigsaws on its Rock Saws imprint. The Trooper is also available as a 1,000-piece jigsaw. All 500-piece puzzles come in vinyl box set size box, so pretty cool. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, Ozzy Osbourne has released a new animated video for the song It's a Raid. It's off his 2020 Ordinary Man album, and he collaborates with Post Malone on that album, so you can check that out on YouTube. And Nita Strauss, the guitarist who also plays with Alice Cooper's band, had a chat with Casius Morris on Watch Mojo's new podcast, Inner Sleeve, and they discuss her upcoming second solo album. Asked if the album will be all instrumental, uh, Nita stated, Actually, I'm going to have some guest vocalists on this one. I'm not going to do any singing because I want it to sound good, but I have people much more talented, I think, than me doing a couple of guest spots, and then the rest is going to be instrumental. And Strauss's new album is set for a release later in 2021, and it's the follow-up to Controlled Chaos. That was out in 2018. And uh, some new albums that have been released uh, this week, you know, Love and Death, um, Brian Head Welch is in that from Corn. They release Perfectly Preserved. Humanity is the Last Breath have a new album. Serenia, Cult of Luna, Abiotic, Durbin, and Joel Hoekstra's 13 all have new albums out now. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.